There is no morality in the world. We are immoral. We are not willing to consider that our very existence is based on our imaginary world and our minds and our personalities. All of that, obviously, we have given it a beautiful word. Ego. Our ego is fed by an interesting system we designed that is as unreal as our reality that we exist in as personality. And remember, I'm not talking about the physical reality, I'm talking about the imaginary reality which we call society, culture, entertainment, education, government systems. And all of that is a product of our illusionary reality within which we have placed the rules of control and domination over each other so that some may have it all and others have nothing. We must consider what we've done because the earth will no longer accept our abuse. You will see that manifest in this world in multiple ways. There is a suggestion that one must consider common sense. If one do not, there is a consequence. That consequence is being accelerated through a compression of time and it will be an inevitability that everyone will face. Consequence. All consequential outflows eventually will be only self-directed and no longer affect another without permission. Much is changing. We have always wished for it. That wish was our permission for what is to come. But be careful what you wished for. Because that wish has come to fruition. The suggestion is stop creating an imaginary world that do not consider the physical space-time part of it. It will have consequences that's unbearable and that will take a long time to walk through. It's not necessary. There is another way where each being takes responsibility and self-honesty within the context of what is relevant within the space-time, the physical, and the time of the physical in our creation process, our existence and how we coexist here. If we do not consider each other, no one else is going to. The suggestion is also not to die. Because if you are in separation when you die, what ends up on the other side of the energetic divide? And understand, it's an energetic divide. You do not take your energy with you. It all stays here. Your mind, your imaginary reality, is energized from your physical body. When that dies, it do no, it's no longer generating energy. The energy that you used to think with is no longer there. Immediately your imaginary reality is gone. It's not real. Your thinking is not real. What remains is that within you, which is life. If you have not considered that as equal with... And remember, you cannot find that unless you are equal with all life forms that's here. So if you have not been able to notice and be standing equal with every life form and the life force that is actually animating you, you don't really actually exist. And the life form that cross over, that was there at your birth, is virtually without any form of memory, let's call it that, or I mean, it's like something that you, you're supposed to educate yourself. There is no education about life because nothing you did was of any value within the context of life equal as it exists within each one. So, only that part that was actually considering equality of all life will cross over. The rest is gone. The soul was a deception to my to create a form of a DVD player within which your life was captured as magnetic 
information to create the illusion that there is apparently memories that go with you in the afterlife and then it was kept in the Akashic record in a storage facility just like our networks and computer systems is now storing our energy as money with the systems and our information as our validations not real have a look you can't even remember your own life from day to day you have to capture the information the same happened that's no more the earth said no more Life said, no more. And life is not going to show anyone or give anyone proof. Because the proof is already here. The proof is already in each one. The life force that exists in each one is already here. That's the proof. You want, you know you have that life force. You know it can be taken away. You can leave and there's nothing left. You know this life force exists. You don't need more proof of it. You know what is happening in the world. You don't need more proof of it. You don't need a God to change this world. You need yourself. If you will not, your actions that you've already done in this world will force you to because this world is collapsing. If you have created this mess, there is no way out. And death is not a way out, I suggest. Don't die. You'll come back here. This is your point of accountability and your point of responsibility. And it'll take time because you have never really considered life even within yourself. You've allowed yourself to become an imaginary being and something with, where you have freedom to create multiple different voices that can talk to you, multiple personalities that you can design the way you want them, to say the things you want them to say. I mean, you, a channel, the channels in this world, the psychics in this world, what are they doing? They're saying the things people want them to say. They train themselves, that's why. And uh, that's what I love about Esoteric Online and Kendra, for instance. She, just, she explains this so beautifully. To become a channel, it takes lots of hard work, many years of training. Obviously, I mean, to become the parent that says the things that the channel says requires years of learning the words. And then you have to say it again and over and over and over again. Thank you for that beautiful explanation. I mean, it's the same as any education. It's not real because you were trained to be that. You are not actually doing it. You've created an energetic entity within your mind that takes over and speaks on your behalf. You can see it move as energy. Wonderful. Yes, you can. You've created it after all. Come on. So, please, when you masturbate, let it be between your dick and your hand. Do not involve another person. I mean, that's not a real, that's an imaginary orgasm. If you can get yourself to orgasm between your dick and your hand, I take my head off here because then you know how to masturbate. <laughs> Have fun with that.